Okay, listen, as all activists and allies take to the streets of Manhattan behind all that music, the fun, and the excitement is a very hardworking team of movers and shakers, including, but not limited to, our next guest. That's right, co-chair of NYC Pride, Kaz Alexander, is here to tell us all about this year's annual Pride March. Kaz, welcome to New York Living. Thank you for having me. I just gotta tell you, that is a name that I am very envious of, Kaz uh, Alexander. <laughs> it's I, destined for big things. Yes. I, I hope so, it's, 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 a, it's a namesake, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Is that your government? That's, that that's is my government. K -Z. Z -Z. Double Z's, yeah. Your parents knew what they were doing. Uh-huh, that's they, all dead. <laughs> they sure did. So we, we were just talking to him during, during the, the break. You've got just a little bit going on, because we were like, you know what, we're just gonna talk like it's a conversation, and you were like, oh no, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Is I got a bigger response to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on this weekend, um, but I love the fact that New York City comes alive. Yeah. Um, as probably everybody has seen, it's pretty much painted in rainbow at this point. Uh, what yeah. are you most looking forward to about the march specifically, seeing uh, there? The march? Okay, so on uh, Sunday, June 30th, we have our heralded march, and I think the biggest thing I'm excited about is seeing all the different people come out um, and celebrate together. So it's a place of uh, inclusion, and I'm happy to see my mom every year. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. She has to get a shout out. Oh my God! Does it just get bigger and better and more exciting and just more insanely amazing every single year? I think so. Uh, I think just the fact that people feel more welcome. New York has always been a place where people come to be themselves mm -hmm. from all over the world. So, you know, we invite everyone to come to New York City. Uh, so I think it can only get bigger and bigger, especially in these times. They don't call it the melting, the melting pot for They nothing. don't call it the melting pot for nothing. And, but and I, the Big Apple. And, and the, the Big, big Apple. <laughs> but I also think, you know, because I think about when I was a kid, this didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And part of that is because of people like you, because you are inclusive and you are aware that there's a whole generation of mm -hmm. folks coming up now mm. where I want to say, I'll never know what this is like. It will always be a challenge to live in your own skin. Yep. Um, but you are helping young people realize that yes. and, and say that it's okay to be whomever you want to be. Can you talk Absolutely. to us about that? Absolutely. That's been my life's work, actually. I'm an educator by trade. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of the folks that work behind the scenes at NYC Pride are volunteers. But, you know, our day jobs are um, as teachers, um, as folks that work for the city. So I'm a teacher. My mom, I mentioned, is a teacher. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of in my blood to want to pay it forward mm -hmm. uh, to young people. And I think creating a space where they are able to be themselves has always been something that has been a part of my life's work. And I think it just comes through when we have these um, marches, parties, uh, festivals, people get to show up in their authentic skin. And I think that's really important for young people to be able to see. Yeah, 100%. I wonder if you might, I mean, to, to what we've been talking about, the, you, people come from all over the world. Yeah. Everybody has a different story, but this is kind of somewhere where no matter who you are, where you come from, what you look like, this is where everybody can come to yes. celebrate and just be their most true and authentic self. So the word pride, I'm sure, has a little bit of a different <laughs> meaning or connotation mm -hmm. for everybody who's going to be there this weekend or not. What does it mean to you? Uh, to me, it means an opportunity to both uh, be in protest um, and to stand up for something that you believe in, which I think for me is the inclusion of everyone. Uh, does it matter what your gender is, who you want to love? I think everybody has a place, um, especially in New York City, but definitely in the world. Right. Um, so for me, Pride is an opportunity to express that. I think it's had a larger connotation in recent years. It doesn't just mean um, to love yourself. It means to be welcoming to other people. Um, and I also think that you know, being in, in protest of those who don't believe that is part of that process. That's sure. right. Because protest looks a lot of different ways. That's true. Right? Um, preparations? No big deal, right? You started doing that on Monday? <laughs> oh, yeah, just this past what, Monday. How many human hours goes Thousands. into this? Because it's literally, I feel like we've been doing these segments yeah. all month. Yes. Uh -huh. And it all comes down to so many night. different people. <laughs> and you mentioned that you have a, a day job, yes. too. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, so I have a day job, I, I run an education consulting company, but just like everyone else at NYC Pride, we are volunteers. So we have a very small staff, um, but thousands of volunteers. So um, thank you already in advance to <laughs> hundreds of folks that are coming in, thousands of folks that are coming in to volunteer um, over the course of the weekend to put things together. So you're gonna see them with their volunteer mm -hmm. shirts. I'm one of them, so I really feel passionately about the place that we have in New York and being able to provide this um, for everybody, but it's thousands of hours. Right. So thousands oh. of volunteer hours. Um, that are put in from literally the previous year. Ooh. So from July 1st of last year oh right. until so this weekend, we're, we're working. It and then culminates. on Sunday night, you'll take a nice long nap, hopefully. Mon Monday morning. Oh, Monday morning. <laughs> exactly. Don't be ridiculous, Mari Sol. He will be blowing That's through the door. Right. Remind viewers where the march begins. Uh, so the march will begin, uh, well, it really depends, but you could be on the march route on Fifth Avenue and, mm -hmm. and the wonderful graphic um, going down Fifth Avenue. So if you're a spectator on Fifth Avenue, Seventh Avenue are really your key spots um, between 
uh, in the 20s, uh, 20s and yeah. 30s, um, going all the way down to Stonewall, obviously. So there's some key spectator points, but if you are a marcher, if you are participating, you want to make sure you have the right place because we actually have thousands of people who uh, get a notification of like, this is where I need to go. This is where my section is. So you want to make sure you go Look to the that. right section. Technology, man. Yeah. Know your section. Kaz yeah. Alexander, thank you so much for Thanks being for here me. and for doing mm -hmm. everything that you do. Thanks. All right.